Assalamu alaikum peeps. This is your boy once again coming at you. Do me a favor though. Like this video, share, and subscribe to my channel. There's a notification icon. Right there, you hear to be you be notified every time I drop bang. So let's talk about it, cause everybody talking. So how was y'all Saturday morning? <laughs> Mine was pretty interesting. I didn't have a whole bunch of activity, but I did have a comment on my YouTube page. Um, I'm not going to give this gentleman his, you know, clout by saying his name, but I'm paraphrasing. I really didn't want to read what the fuck he was talking about. Talking about I spew hate and I, I guess teach hate and whatnot. First of all, God damn it, my message is for my people. If you don't like it, like Dave Chappelle said, motherfucker, you click my button. You click my face. Get the step. Especially for my people that like my people. And if you don't like truth telling, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you know, it's like it's like what Brother Malcolm said. You you throw a rock into a pack of dogs. One's gonna say, arr, arr, and the one that say, arr, arr, that's the one you hit. <laughs> so some people just don't like truth. No, they don't. So uh, I did my little eight hours today, and I'm on the clock. Uh, killing time to go home to get away from the plantation and there was a there was an older Caucasian guy working in a uh, food truck you know getting his juices together and all whatnot. so it was some brothers already on break and brothers talking about the struggle talking about different things and so you know I joined the conversation. We just talking about uh, America, how the money don't mean anything. It doesn't have any value. If China call back is dead, how much we in debt? You know, scenarios. And dude jumps in the conversation. <sighs> Oh my God, hit that like button, man. Share this motherfucker. So, he goes to try to tell us, you know, about tithing, which we said previous, you know, tithing, you know, the dollar bill doesn't mean anything. It, it, it's, it's, it's falling day by day. So, the God that I serve that created the heavens and the earth and, uh, and, the, and the planets, and black holes and stars. What the hell are we doing giving them something that has no value? You know, tithing and whatnot. What the hell are we giving past whatever money? That, it don't mean nothing. That, you know. Then he, he come talking about, well, he talks about giving such and such and such and such. Man, listen here, man. <laughs> Dude. Take your ideology on with that old we are the world and God, you know, love everybody. It ain't how it is. So I challenged him. I challenged him on some issues. Some questions he want to answer. <laughs> the brothers, you know, brothers just sit back just peeping the things out. Like I was telling him, you know, he wanted to go on, people come to our country, our country, whose country? 
Are you talking about the natives that was here? Or are you talking about your brethren that came and brought us here? Which we didn't have no choice to come to this motherfucker. And I asked him, what's his last name? What's my last name? What's his last name? These ain't our names. Oh my God. He just stayed him on work. Didn't ask nothing. You know. And so I'm like, you know. I feel that me coming over here and knowing our history, it's unfair for us to just learn one language. They know multiple languages. I felt like I got robbed. Now see, when you start speaking truth to individuals, and you're not scared of speaking that truth, and I gotta thank Almighty God Allah for coming in the form of Master Farad Muhammad and raising the Honorable Elijah Muhammad who gave us today, today, the no one only but the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. And I want to thank him for that. Now, I didn't mean to go on that tirade, y'all. <laughs> but I was making a point, and, I, and I'm passionate. I'm sorry. Dude was so passionate and so frustrated. Like I said, he was working. Man, he was dropping his juices, dropping sandwiches and shit. So I said, brothers, come and help pick us, put this up, man. Help, help this man pick himself up. <laughs> so the brothers came outside. And that shows you the obedience of the black man's mind. He thinks good. He's got to learn how to stop hating his brother. But he thinks good. Help the man out. Put his stuff back on his car form. I go to clock out. And go into my car. <laughs> my homeboy's telling me. They were like, man, yeah, he, he could talk about God and all. But when he... He cusses and all that, you know. That's the man, shut that shit up. Them brothers weren't trying to hear that shit. So my, my message is for my people. If you don't like it, I'm going to tell you like Martin used to tell you. Get a separate peace and a bottle of hair grease.